Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, September 22nd edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. After nearly an entire day of cloudy skies, we finally saw a break from the rain. How long will this last? And we'll have that much and more on this edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. Forecasters keeps you ahead of the next weather system. Size Eyes on the Sky starts now. All right, welcome back. Uh, so after Two days uh, of nearly constant just rain and clouds. Uh, Ryan, Alice, I mean, what are you like? What are your thoughts on what's been going it on? It was nice. We actually had the sun peek out in this this afternoon, and I just got back from a flag football game, and it was actually really refreshing and great to finally see the sun out. Oh, did mm -hmm. you enjoy it at all today? Yeah, it actually came out right when we started doing marching bands, so you know it was kind of nice to just have that warmth and whatever. So you know, while we're trying to set everything up, it wasn't like just gloomy and made everyone depressed or whatever, mm -hmm. so, yeah. The unfortunate thing about it, though, is we actually felt the moisture, and there is actually a boundary to our north, and it's causing some severe weather up in parts of northwest Iowa, southwest Minnesota, and southeast South Dakota. There's actually a few severe thunderstorm warnings out there. Oh, really? Not surprising, considering how muggy it is and how warm it is down here. They're feeling that same warmth and mugginess up north. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, I believe we're going to toss it over to Liz at the weather desk. Uh, so what do we got going on in Iowa today? Um, well, it was pretty muggy, and it's looking to stay that way through tomorrow. But hopefully through this weekend, we start to see some sunshine. I know a lot of people want that sun yeah. coming back. Um, if we take a look at the day planner, actually, you can see by midnight tonight, there will still be some rain, maybe a few hints of thunder, um, about 70 degrees. Uh, and you can see winds are starting to pick up as we go into late tomorrow afternoon. 9 a.m. it'll be about 69 and rainy still. And again, by 3 p.m. it'll still be rainy. Um, hopefully tomorrow's the last day for a while, but uh, temperature around 75. And you can see by tomorrow afternoon, the winds will be out of the southwest at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. So definitely a lot blustery than it has been the last couple days. I don't think it, sh it should only last for a day, maybe two. And then we'll go back to some nice sunny conditions, but for the most part, rainy day tomorrow. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, well, we're going to cut it to a break, and uh, when we come back, we'll have uh, weather news. All right, well, welcome back. Uh, we're going to send it over to Weather News at the Wall with uh, Ryan Ellis. Thank you, Sean. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the headlines making weather news today and this week. And we actually do have a lot to talk about. As Liz mentioned just a second ago, we do have storms coming this Thursday. A uh, frontal boundary to the north, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be sliding south and affecting all of Iowa. We could see a lot of heavy rainfall. Maybe rain up to about an inch potentially here. And we cannot even rule out a potential of some severe weather, including hail and strong winds. Uh, tornadoes, I doubt, are going to be present, but certainly keep an eye to radar and keep your weather radios on. As well as I'd like to give a tropical update, even though we're here in Iowa. 
There's a potential for another tropical system to form in the Caribbean right now. The National Hurricane Center has put a 60% chance. That's high in their minds, so certainly we could be seeing another uh, hurricane or tropical storm down there. And then the National Weather Service actually issued some information over their webpage recently that this summer was the fourth warmest summer on record. And that's certainly not surprising considering how hot it was all the time. Here's our current hot spot. Here's an area of low pressure centered in western Nebraska. And it, along it, here's this boundary I talked about, this warm front here. And this red here is where the risk of severe weather is greatest. And we're talking hail, high winds, and even potential for tornadoes. There is actually a tornado watch across parts of Nebraska right now. No tornado warnings at this time, but we do have a few severe thunderstorm warnings out, particularly up here by Sioux Falls. So certainly keep an eye on to that and make sure that you uh, listen to the National Weather Service. We'll take a look now at, so this is the Doppler radar. We're actually don't able to show you radar right now because of having technical issues, but this was at 2.30 today. I wanted to show you at least what's going on. This is a, earlier, so this is certainly not what's happening now, but this is about right here is where Sioux Falls is. These are all these thunderstorms. Now, these have all pushed up to the north here into Minnesota, but we do have some redevelopment back here. As you can see here, these storms are, have some pretty high magnitude. You're seeing those reds, oranges, and yellows in there. So certainly tonight is a big night for thunderstorms. And as well, we want to talk about the ISU versus UNI game this Saturday. Here's your football forecast. High of 66 with a low of 49. Winds out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. Right now, it's a little iffy if we're going to get rain or not. It's a little bit too far out for us to get a good idea whether or not it's going to rain. But certainly, I put mostly cloudy in here. Just make sure you check your forecast here in the coming days. It's certainly a chance of rain. As for our extended forecast, here is Omaha, Nebraska. I put this here because they are under the gun for severe weather and for some rain later in the week. Temperatures stay in the 70s, 78 Thursday, 72 Friday. Coming here into the weekend, we start to dry out Monday, 71, and our low temperatures are going to stay in the low 50s, upper 40s. And for Minneapolis, Minnesota, I put that in there. I'm a big Vikings fan. They have game day up at Mall of America Field versus the Detroit Lions. Hopefully, we can change that record to 1 and 2. Uh, here's our forecast here. Sunday is when the game is, 66 degrees and sunny, so if you're playing on tailgating, it looks beautiful. Otherwise, Minneapolis, not the greatest place to be here during the week, Friday and Saturday. Looks like we have a chance of rain. And with that, let's send it back to our host, Sean. All right, well, thank you, Ryan. Um, right now, we're going to go to a trivia question. Um, if we could get that up on the screen. All right. So, on this date in weather history, what year did Des Moines experience its earliest freeze? Was it A, 1930, B, 1940, or C, 1940? 